person. Hi everyone, we are Flawless and we are giving freedom to developers and designers from routine slavery. For the last 12 months, we spoke with more than 200 designers and developers. We carefully listened to their problem and verified it is very difficult to deliver high quality product on time and that current workflow is completely broken. It's complex, time consuming and full of routine tasks. Develop designer has to waste much of his professional time to manually create guidelines on design. In most cases, these guidelines will be incomplete, so final implementation will be totally different from expected design, which leads to project delays, of course. Flawless helps get pixel perfect visual quality of mobile app without routine tasks. It's a web app with two plugins for graphic editor and development environment. Plugin for designer automatically create guidelines on design. Developer gets these guidelines as ready to paste code and just drag and drop your elements straight into the code. The best part, developer can visually compare final implementation with initial design in real time. This prevents any possible visual mistake before it costs you money. We target on a team leads designers, and developers who use products often on subscription base. So we provide familiar purchase model with flexible pricing. Opportunity is huge over there. So far, it was than 12 million mobile teams who work freelance and in-house. It's a global, massive, and growing market. I guess you know about it. Interesting that current player focus on designers mostly. We decided to focus on iOS mobile teams because it's pixel perfect oriented and really well paid community. For this audience, we provide more benefits than any current direct competitors. Flawless gives a unique feature of quality control with comparison of expected and implemented design. It works right inside iOS environment, so it speeds up project delivery twice. We started our project one year ago at Garage 48. We were accelerated at Startup Zone and Lidman Challenge. Now we have a live product with 100 testers who use it daily. We have 950 subscribers from different companies. We choose just 100 of them to test and get the feedback from these guys. We have a testers from such a company like EPAM, Wanderlist, Petcube, Cupertino, and even Conceptor, which is here, I guess. And so far, the overall feedback is really positive. The next step is polishing beta and launching a paid version. I think some of you may ask, oh, they don't have revenue right now. Yes, we don't have. But we have a people who love to use the product. And sales is just a question of very short time. Everybody tells that the team is super professionals with 300 years of experience. Well, we have these guys, we love them. They have expertise in design, development, and passion to work for like a year without any salary. So we bootstrap our product development and did something that those hundred people thought they like and would like to pay for. We see a huge interest to our tool on an actively growing market. And we are looking for investment to move even faster than now. We revolutionize the way how developers and designers cooperate. And we will appreciate your feedback and advice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, who would like to ask a question, please? <laughs> OK. Well, it's, it's very clear presentation. Uh, can you elaborate more on the, uh, your go-to-market strategy? We think a lot about this, and for now what works for us best is working with community leaders. We have um, 1,000 people, designers and developers, who take part in every suite, IS, or sketch um, conference. We'll, we already communicate with them, we'll ask them to test the product, to give the feedback, and to share with their community. It's free and it's the best way to have variety in this community, it's the first way. Another way is a big one, is working with 
uh, professional media who have more than 300 resources directly for iOS and Sketch, and we know every editor of this resource as well. We would like to have free publications there and some media uh, paid um, advertising as well. It's uh, the nearest steps to do. Another one is cooperation with Upwork and Freelance to be featured there, but it's not for now. It's community leaders and the professional press. Also, I'd like to add that those 100 people is not just regular developers, it's social active leader of thoughts which can spread flawless uh, to, to their network. As well. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, you mentioned that you are raising $120,000, right? Uh, it's money in which we can collate. We need uh, four, four salaries. Basically, we need somebody who will advise us how much money we need for sales in US. We don't know what salary people, sales people would have in the US, so we need partner who will advise us how much money we need additional for sales in outside outside. Uh, but how you do sales now? Uh, we do it for free. We find people who tell us, "Wow, guys, it's really awesome. Give me a try, and I will tell to community." This is what we do right now, and it works. Okay, uh, maybe it's too early, but what what have you learned so far from your existing one hundred? Clients. Yeah, it's a really great question. We have a great community because it's a designer developer. They show us all three mistakes and how to fix these mistakes. I can't tell, tell more. Yeah, uh, it's, it's very nice to test with developers and designers because they not just notice the problem, they're just trying to uh, show us how to solve this problem. It's really cool, yeah. And they, they was very active, uh, are currently very active, like writing to us every day, every hour. Yeah, and uh, we... Validate a lot of uh, like feature assumption about comparison, about guidelines, which is most uh, valuable for them. A lot of good insight. Uh, the most important one is people would like to have comparison feature and they would like to pay for it. So it, uh, this one, it's a nuclear feature on the market and people love it uh, more than guidelines. It's the first one. And second one, we've got like 40, 50 people who are just invited. Uh, for, it's like variety. Well. We are in the outsourcing capital of the world, or at least Europe. Every other person I meet is a mobile developer. How are you moving this product within Ukraine? How many more companies, how many mobile developers in Ukraine use this product? Uh, for now, we have guys from Epal, from Elastic. Uh, Yolandis. Yolandis, Yolandis. Yolandis uh, soft serve, and but uh, those guys they use it, I guess, for personal purpose. And when we will finish this private testing, we will contact the biggest outsourcing company as well and provide them opportunity to try and then to pay for it. So we have these plans as well. And it's easy to do because uh, everybody is closed here and we can just ask interest. Quick question, how is your competitors monetize uh, the product? I mean, average pricing, just to uh, Yes, idea. they use subscription model fee. Usually it's ten dollars per freelancer and like fifteen twenty dollars per team, and from uh, five hundred dollars for big companies as well. They don't use year payment, and we think that we will have a, a trial a subscription fee and year payment as well. But any differentiators from your competitors that you would have about in the in the terms of price? Not only price. I mean, okay, maybe price. I don't know. Okay, if we speak about price. We can uh, give smaller one because we have the uh, lower burn rate, but I don't see the reason to invent the wheel if people already pay for this in subscription based. But why would they leave the existing service for you? That's my question. Right. Uh, they should not leave. We can add value because none of competitors have a comparison. Whatever. They can use, uh, for example, those guys for guideline creation and our feature for finding mistakes. We even have guys guy from our competitor company who is our product so why not to cooperate with them okay let them do a guideline creation and we can do comparison it's there is no problem with this that's actually uh, an idea because they don't need to leave uh, we exist as a plugin so we integrate into current solution and add value to current solution so th that's the idea. interesting that the guy from Vanderlyf told us uh, can I use it together with Zeppelin I mean yes why not the market is already exists it's like one year and a half old for such tools as ours, it's still young, but people already know about this tool. So it's good for us. Good for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.